coming back from the ninth holiday and Baruch Rufa Cholim for Yehuda. Yehuda. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you. Baruch Hashem, strong and healthy. Thank you. So this parsha, as we learned in the past few days, is a parsha of Shana, and we learned about the song by the sea. And I want to share with you a beautiful midrash that is actually come to solve a contradiction in two verses in, in the parsha. So one verse. Hashem says to Moshe to take his staff and to strike basically the, uh, the Red Sea and to split the sea. That's uh, on verse 15, chapter 14. And Hashem says, Hashem says to Moshe, why do you cry out to me? Now you lift up your staff and stretch out, stretch out your arm over the sea and split it. So, this verse basically saying Moshe Rabbeinu did the strike and the water split, right? But then later on, the Torah tells us something a little bit different. Then um, we know that there were the, the, the clouds and the wind blew out the, the entire night. And the Torah says in verse 21, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and Hashem moved the sea with a strong east wind all the night. And he turned the sea to damp land, and the water split. So Moshe only stretched up his arm, and then the water, the, sorry, the wind blew all night, and then the water split. While the first verse we read, Moshe Rabbeinu actually strike the, the, the sea, and then the water split. So what's happening here exactly? Because of that, the Midrash comes and tells us there was kind of a discussion between Moshe and the water and the sea about what's going to happen now. And this is the Midrash Rabbah on the Parsha, on uh, uh, chapter 21, Midrash 6. The Atzara Mekvotchan, the Midrash says, and you shall lift your, your staff. Amar Moshe Lifin HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Moshe said before Hashem, Atzara Omer Lishay, Kray Tayam, you said to me that I'm going to split the sea. A Kray Tayam is actually even more, it's like tear the sea. That's the word in Hebrew. It's even more than just split. Ve'eset Tayam Yabashan, I will make the sea to the dry land. But there's actually a verse in Jeremiah that says, Asher sam tichol gugul ayam. Hashem made the sand of the sea a border to the sea. So there's actually kind of over the, a, a, an oath that never the sea and the sand are going to cross the borders between them. And the Midrash says, Valei nishivata she'en atav kohol olam yud smol. Moshe says to Hashem that you're never going to break those boundaries between the sand and the sea. Amar Rabbi Elazar Kapar, says Rabbi Elazar Kapar, Amar Rabbi Moshe, lo kach amarta she'en ayam ne'aset yabasha, you said to me that the, 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 the land cannot become, or vice versa, the sea cannot become the dry land. Asher ne'mar, asher sam tichol gulayam, because of this verse in Jeremiah. Amar Rabbi Elazar Kapar, Hashem says to him, you know what? You're right, but, I remind you what happened in the Bereshit, in the beginning of the Torah. You didn't read the beginning of the Torah. Hashem says in the beginning of Bereshit, Bereshit chapter 1 verse 9, that Hashem actually made the ocean, the, all the sea to one place. I made the condition where the, the sea is going to be, right? So when I made the condition exactly where the borders between the sea and the dry land is going to be, I actually already made a condition back then in creation that at one stage the water can be split. It's amazing. The Hashem already made a condition in creation. If not Boker it says in, also in our parasha that in the morning before the dawn the, the sea will come back to its Original form after the split. Litna Oshem, what's what does that mean that the sea will come back to what? Not just to, him, to his original form, but rather to the original condition that Hashem made with it. Yeah? Litna Oshit Nedim Omitchila. Miyan Shama Kadosh Moshe, like Kadosh Bobo says, Moshe heard this from Hashem. Allah Moshe, as he heard it from, from Kadosh Bobo, but Allah Likumai Taya. Okay, now. Moshe is ready. Now he, he finished the argument, so to speak, with Hashem. He's about to split the sea. 
Alami kuata yang. But now the sea has an argument. The sea doesn't will doesn't want to be split. Loki bela alami kara. The sea said no. I I can't do it. Why? Amar vayam yipanecha minika. Am I going to be split because of you, Moshe? He says ani gadol minicha. I'm greater than you. The sea said to Moshe. Why? Shani nevreti bashlishi. The sea said to Moshe, I was created on the third day when Hashem made the ocean and, and the water and the, and the, and the land. The Atani brother Bashi and the human beings only were, were created in, or the first man was created in the sixth day, right? So the sea is greater than a human being. Yevan she shema Moshe kachalak v'amal hakadosh baruch hu. Moshe says, I can't argue with the sea. What can I do now? Alak v'amal hakadosh baruch hu. And I have what's in it. Cannot the, the sea doesn't want to be split. Me'as hakadosh baruch hu natan yemino al yemino shem Moshe. Hashem took his own hand. Yes. So to speak, Hashem's hand on the right hand of Moshe. Shenemar mulich li yemin Moshe. This is another verse from Isaiah that Hashem basically put his right hand on top of Moshe's hand. Miyad ra'al hakadosh baruch hu uvara. Then the sea saw that and actually ran away. Ayam ra'av ayanos. What we recite in in Halel. And in Tehillim, that the sea saw that, and then by itself, it kind of moved away backwards. What did the sea split? What did the sea saw? What did the sea see? <laughs> what did the sea see that he went backwards? He suddenly saw Hashem's hand, his right hand. Al Moshe, on top of Moshe's hand, he couldn't stop Moshe's anymore. And he ran away with Panat. Amar of Moshe, with Neymar Taboura. Now Moshe asked him, why are you running away? The sea. Amar of Ayam, with Ne Eloi Yaakov, with Ne Geratosh Akadosh, but I fear of Hashem, of God. Miyad, Kevan Sheri Moshe, Tedo Alayam, Nivka, as Moshe lifted up his hand, and he actually didn't need. So you see how the Midrash is actually making peace now between the two contradicted verses that. Hashem says to him to split and to strike, so to speak, in the beginning, but then we saw that it, it was in the other verse, only Moshe just lifted his hand. While he lifted his hand, already the, the sea was scared of Hashem, and he, it, was, it was split. Melamed also, but in Bakua Maim, and it says the water split it everywhere, basically. And the, the Midrash tells us, Melamed, Shekola Maim, Shekola Maim, Shekola Maim, Shekola Maim, Shekola Maim, Shekola Maim, everywhere, not just the ocean. Not just the Red Sea was split, but all the uh, uh, fountains and rivers and everywhere that was water, everywhere at that moment was split. <laughs> and then at the moment that the water split, eh, sorry, the water returned to its original form, all the other waters in the world also returned to its original form. And then the Midrash finishes, Vayet, Moshe Tiado Alayam, and Pirkat Kadash Mokum Meshabako, that Hashem himself also praised Moshe, Vayiskor Yame Olam, Moshe Imo, that Hashem remembers, so to speak, this favor for Moshe for uh, uh, the future to come. That's it. Interesting, really beautiful Midrash to explain uh, how actually the split of the sea happened.